Senator Mike McLaughlin reporting from the state capitol. I want to thank you for joining me for a few minutes. You know, we've passed a state budget here in Hartford that calls on $1.5 billion in new taxes to the residents and companies of the state of Connecticut. We still have a big hole in the budget. The employee unions of uh, Connecticut government must approve a $2 billion package of concessions. We still don't know if that's actually going to happen or not. Uh, some would say that that uh, package of concessions is hardly concessions because it's a guarantee for four years of no layoffs. It also means uh, about a 9% increase in pay guaranteed over the next five years. Doesn't sound like givebacks to anyone in the private sector. Uh, so my concern is that this package uh, that has been granted to the state employee unions by Governor Malloy uh, is misguided and not appropriate for the tough time that we face here in Connecticut. Now we're on to some really silly ideas. So we have transgender rights bill that was uh, 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 talked about in the state house last night for several hours. I understand they were here till 11 o'clock. That'll be coming to the Senate soon. We're talking about marijuana and decriminalization. We're talking about uh, things like uh, uh, forcing companies to allow their employees to step aside from any company meeting. That's known as captive audience uh, regulation. That's a union-friendly bill uh, that's anti-business. We're talking about uh, other ideas that we think uh, uh, are not appropriate at this time, and that's also the repeal of the death penalty. Listen, there's an awful lot of important things that state government, I think, should be talking about, and that is how do we allow businesses to recover from this terrible economy that we've experienced over the last three years. But this state legislature continues nonstop every single day adding new legislation that is anti-business and anti-jobs. So I urge you, please contact your legislator and let them know that it's important that the Connecticut legislature wake up and understand that we can't recover from this recession until this legislature allows business to, to recover on their own without additional mandates from state government. Local municipal elected officials share our concern about state government with unfunded mandates. The problem we have now is state government thinks that it's a good idea to force local municipalities to do something. The problem is that they're also requiring local property taxpayers to pay for the cost of the new programs. That's a serious problem here in Hartford. And we have to stop forcing unfunded mandates on local property taxpayers. So two things are happening. One is we continue to push unfunded mandates to businesses across the state of Connecticut. And two, we keep forcing local property taxpayers to fund programs that Hartford think is, thinks is a good idea, but they don't have the money to pay for it. Contact your legislator. Let them know that we have to stop passing the buck on to local taxpayers. We have to stop increasing the cost of state government. What we should be talking about is efficiency in government, downsizing government, letting government operate within its means. And the means of government today is far less than what it was just a few years ago. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate the opportunity to share with you an update at the State Capitol.